Alright boys, we're back. This is gonna be my first vlog in a while. Make sure to tell me in the comments if you enjoyed these type of videos or more so the informational type of videos where I do a voiceover or a combination of both or whatever you prefer the most. I am gonna try and do this a bit longer since a lot of you have requested me doing longer vlog type videos. Right now it's Monday, I had my primary day Saturday and a light day Sunday, but my Sunday training was at a national team gathering. So different gym, one hour drive from here, so not a huge deal, um, but we also went out, me and some of the other guys from the national team to eat sushi after that. Um, which was really really fun but you know I don't really like to go out of my typical day-to-day -day life I really like to keep everything the exact same every single day I am a bit fatigued today both mentally and physically so I'm not expecting too much from this training session however I will just be doing my my best with the cards that I've been dealt for today I have been sleeping good I've been eating eating good today and I've pretty much been doing everything I can today for optimizing this training session that I'm gonna have today speaking about that we have squats and bench press belt squats incline dumbbell press and some side laterals for today squats we have some fives I think I'm gonna talk with Michael C my new coach about this because my Monday training session has a reliable low performance and I think it might it might be so low that it might not even be worth it to have it and maybe it could be better to add in some more deadlift volume for it for decreasing the squat volume even more. I am actually still fatigued from my Wednesday session and today is Monday so it's almost been a week it's been five days and my lower back is still very fatigued from the conventional one set at RPE like six or five or something like that. So it's pretty crazy how fatiguing conventional is compared to sumo at least for me. Um, because sumo I can do like five sets at RPE eight and it's no issue with the lower back like one day after. <laughs> and now I can do one set at RPE five and it, my lower back is still hurting five days later. So my work capacity is very very low for the lower back in conventional deadlifts. So. Hopefully I'll be able to increase that. If I ever want to do conventional as my main stance, then I definitely need to be able to maintain more than one set a week. I've also started to focus a lot on hydration for training sessions and throughout training sessions. So what I've done is I've added some electrolyte powder to my pre-workout and I've also added some electrolyte powder to my water that I drink throughout the training session. And by electrolyte powder, I just mean magnesium, potassium and sodium. Training session done. Um, it was all right overall. I did good for the squat bench and belt squats, but I did one set of my squats, my top set, and then I skipped my back offs because my lower back started hurting like a eight out of ten pain scale. It was like a sharp pain when I overextended my lower back, so I'm not really sure what that was. But um, anyways, I didn't do the back offs because. 
there's no reason to like make it work on a light secondary day which doesn't really mean anything in terms of my primary day and overall strength gains so it's completely fine and I could do squat and bench and probably also deadlift um, pain free so no real issues but still um, something I need to get fixed it's been like that or like my lower back has been fatigued ever since my Wednesday conventional session and when I got that I was like ah now I remember why I don't do conventional <laughs> it's like my lower back um, fatigue is crazy from conventional compared to sumo so that's why we're here at the water normally I would never go into like cold shower cold water um, this close to a training session but today I decided to do it anyways because if it can help me like just a little bit with recovering from this lower back and performing slightly better for my primary day then I think it's worth it for me so time to dip in some cold as water so lime is fine How was that? There. One to ten. How cold it was? Yeah. It was pretty cold. How nice was it? Three. How much would you recommend? Uh, ten out of ten. Highly recommend. I have gotten in my last meal and now I'm doing a last walk for the day and I'm walking over to Dita's place and I'm gonna sleep there and then I will wake up, go home and get something to eat and then I'll go to my chiropractor. Hey guys, so it is currently the next day and I have been to the physio, I have been walking around throughout the whole day with less pain. I actually woke up with almost no pain, um, which was a very big relief. Um, since that's a very big, that's a very good sign in terms of recovering fast. Um, it got the pain got worse throughout the day, so that's not good. But um, I think it should be fully recovered within a day or two. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but whenever I flex or extend my lower back now, um, it gives a like six out of ten pain or something like that. It's still pretty sharp pain. Um, but hopefully it should be recovered very soon and I will be able to do conventional deadlifts hopefully tomorrow. I have that on the program tomorrow, but I will sacrifice some conventional um, PR kind of stuff for being able to have a good primary day Saturday, which is where my lifts are actually important. So just gotta keep the priorities in check and then I'm sure we'll be able to work something out. Um, so I'll probably just go tomorrow, see how it feels, and if it's completely fixed and healed, then I'll do my normal training session and hopefully aim for like 220, 230 for a conventional set of four posts, which would be pretty crazy. Um, if not, and more realistically, I'll probably just do my top set at like 160 to 200 kg, see how it goes, and hopefully like be able to do that pain-free and be able to use it more so as an active recovery than a stress for my lower back and then I have my normal training session and I think part of what caused this lower back was that I switched out of dumbbell ideals for barbell ideals and I wasn't really able to push myself with the dumbbells because we only had the 47s but with the barbell I could load as much as I want to so I went to a true RPE seven which is what i had prescribed where before it was actually more so like an rp3 because we just didn't have heavy enough dumbbells um so i think that's the main reason for what's happened so tomorrow i will go just very very light with the rdls and then we can see how it goes so i'll keep you guys updated and probably record another video of this tomorrow so it will be out in a few days <laughs> 